Hi everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to you all with another video. I'm going to read an article from bscott.com, lovebscott.com, and the name of the article is Neo Could Give AF What You Think of His Personal Life. You mad because I'm living? No, we're not, but... Neo took to his Instagram stories Saturday to address those who take issue with how he chooses to live his life. I just need the whole world to understand this. The 43-year-old kicked off his message on Instagram story. Your opinions of me and my personal life don't mean anything to me. My kids love me. My women love me. My future is bright as F. I don't even have time to concern myself with what you all think. I feel like the father in the nutty professor. You really think I be listening to you? Ion be listening to you. I might come from the Omar Omarion school of unbotheredness. Neo continued. I hope everybody that needs to see this sees it because I've already wasted too much time trying to let you all know. Feel how you want to feel about me. I'm going to still sleep comfortable as hell tonight and every night following. Meanwhile, you mad because I'm living the F? How's that working out for you? Neo went on to note, okay, back to regular, regularly scheduled program, healthy, smart, and beautiful kids, limitless bank account, beautiful baby mamas, front if you want to, they are bad. He added, and, and lady friends that love my dirty draws, life is good. Some online users weighed in on the post with one writing, that's a lot of words for someone who doesn't care. Another pinned, Unbothered and ranting. I guess it's upside down day. You, you, you better leave Neo alone and let him do his dirt in peace. Well, that's the end of the article. But um, I'm going to um, put this article in the description box below. So if y'all want to read this article or check out his um, Instagram stories, then, you know, y'all can click on that link and y'all can read the article and see his um, Instagram stories. But I, I agree with the uh, with one of the users or one of the um, Instagram users who said um, that's a lot of words for someone who doesn't care. Exactly. It is. It's like if you're not bothered about what people think about you, then why say anything at all? Ain't nobody talked about you in months, Neho. Or should I say, me full of come ho? Then nobody, ain't nobody talked about you in months. So what is you talking about? People been letting you do your dirt and live your life in peace. You the one decided to get on your Instagram and share stories of what what you think about or share uh, share your feelings. In um your Instagram stories, like did nobody care enough to um care, have nobody even cared enough about you to even discuss you, you know. So if anything, you should have been letting people know what upcoming projects, you know, movie projects, TV or projects, TV um projects, and music that you may be working on or have coming out. That's what you should or um any tours coming up. That's what you should have been letting people know. Other than that, don't nobody really care about your life like that. You're not that important. You're not that special. And another thing, you talking about the women love you and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure your ex-wife Crystal does have some love for you, but she didn't love you enough to keep your dirt a secret. As you can tell, you know what I'm saying? If she would have continued to love you the way that you think she does, she would have stayed with you. But as soon as you had that baby, which that outside baby with Sade, that's when she kicked your butt to the curb. And that's what you deserve. 
not only did do you have one side baby, but you got another baby by the same side chick, Sade. So it's like you got six women or you got six children with three different women. So if you don't want to end up being anything like Nick put on a cannon or put on Nick put on a kind of cannon, Mr. Human Cannonball, if you don't want to be anything like him, then you need to quit while you ahead. Because like I said, you bragging about your limitless bank account and all that stuff. You know, live your life. Do what you want to do. Don't nobody care about your money and uh, or nothing like that. The only people that care about your money is the women that you um uh, that's going to be getting child support out of you. And I hope all three of them women, Mayetta, Crystal, and Sade, all kick your butt in court or all kick your butt when it comes to that um child support. They need to hit you up style and uh, kick you, uh, hit you up style like Blue Cantrell. That's what they need to do and get all the money they can out of your behind. Since you bragging about how much about your limitless limitless bank account. Yeah, I bet you when they start, all three of them start, or all three of them together get child support. Then you won't. You probably won't be bragging so much. So you gonna have to work. You gonna have to work for pay for all six of them kids that you got, you definitely going to have to work. And another thing, ain't nobody jealous of you. If anybody is jealous of you, then that says a lot about them. They're insecure. You got a, you got some insecure people that's jealous of you because a jealous person is an insecure person. So, if people, so ain't nobody that's confident, that love themselves, that believe in themselves. Ain't nobody jealous of you. Or if you got them type of people in the world, and they're not jealous of you. Live your life. But at the same time, while you living your life, Neho or Neo, you need to be loving yourself. Because that's something you don't. You don't love yourself. And you didn't love your ex-wife. Because if you did, you wouldn't have been cheating on her and having babies, or having these two babies on her. That you, like you did. So obviously, all and I hope you can um sleep well at night knowing that you ruined your marriage. I wonder, can you sleep well at night knowing that you had them two side babies with Sade, a chick you might not even marry, that you probably not going to marry, that you just had them they are. Never mind. But yeah, can you sleep at night knowing that you have three Broke, uh, that you created three broken homes? Can you sleep at night knowing that you did that? And another thing, can you sleep at night knowing that all them love songs that you sung, that you put out, all them hit love songs that you put out, and that um, apology letter song makes you look like a hypocrite because you didn't mean none of those words. You know what I'm saying? You was a hypocrite when you put all them songs out. So I hope you can sleep at night knowing that you done did all those things. You know, because you're not sorry for your behavior. That song was just a waste of a hit. Because you're not sorry. Because if you were sorry, you would have been faithful to your wife. You wouldn't have went outside your marriage. And another thing, in your dirt, if them women love you so much, why did, why did Sade reveal that she was having not one but two of your babies? She would have kept it. She would have kept that between you and her. She wouldn't have had to tell the uh, world, as you call it. She wouldn't have had to tell them your business like that. And your wife, Crystal, she didn't love you enough to keep your secrets because she's because she revealed that you was a cheater. So, like I said, the women don't love you enough to keep them secrets. And another thing, you need to watch how you treat women because, like I said, you gonna hook up with the wrong woman. You're going to do the wrong woman wrong or mistreat the wrong woman, and she's going to put all your dirt out there. She's going to put all your dirty secrets, your dirty laundry and everything. So like I said, you, you think them women love you, keep on playing with them, and they're going to show you how much they really love you when they put your butt on blast. So like I said, keep on bragging. And like I said, your dirty draws. The only, re the only reason why a woman would love your dirty jaws is because she's either doing you a favor by washing them or either or either because you she might get some money out of you 
or you might help further her career. That's it. Other than that, ain't no woman gonna be loving your dirty draws like that. You don't you don't even love your dirty draws. You don't even respect yourself. If anything, you know, you need to set a better example for your kids. That's what you need to do. Be a better role model and a better example. Instead of sitting out here and then you get into you get you in your forties. You need to grow up. You need to stop playing the field and try to, you know, take a step back from that. Because like I said, what goes around comes around and you will get what's coming to you. So you need to watch how you treat these women. And you need to focus more on your career and less hoeing. That's what you need to do, if anything. So go ahead and live your life. Do what you want. But don't think that people are jealous of you. If, if, if anything, if you don't want nobody talking about you, then, then you need to understand this. Less is golden. So don't say anything about your life. Don't give people a reason to talk about you. We wouldn't know your dirt and we wouldn't know your tea or your secrets or your business if you wouldn't tell us. Or if you wouldn't piss these women off so they would tell us. So like I said, obviously you're not playing your cards right. You not doing your moves are not smart moves. You're doing something wrong. Your slip is showing because you're talking about you don't care. But you let but you put out them Instagram stories. So you must care. You cared enough to give us a response to um post those stories. So like I said, man, you need to grow up. You really need to you need to um grow up. You need to um slow down. And you know what I'm saying, get a reality check because like all right, you need to slow down and have several seats. And like I said, focus on your music. Focus on your acting career. And another thing, while you writing music, won't you come out with a song called Unfaithful? Because that's what you are. Or matter of fact, cheater. Because that's what you are. You are a cheater and you unfaithful. So like I said, them will be, them will be perfect songs to describe you. Absolutely. Them will be perfect songs to describe you. Now, let me see if there's anything else in this article that I can roast you on. Yeah, like you said, you 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 so unbothered, but you rant, ranting and raving. And like I said, come up with some original. Don't use um, what Omar, Omar, um, Omarion said about being unbothered. Come up with some original. You know, don't use somebody else's um, words. You know, because like I said, you should create a school of um, a, a school of cleaning up your act. That's what you need to create a school of. If anything, you need to school yourself on how to be a better man. Yeah, and your future might be bright, but like I said, you keep on doing these these women wrong and doing them dirty. Your future might be glim, less less bright than you think. So like I said, you need to humble yourself and you need to learn how to treat women better. That's what you need to do. Anything. Oh, here go Neo, y'all, right here. I'll show y'all his, his picture. Like I said, he's a very gifted and talented man, actor and um, singer and music producer. But he need to produce some, some class. He need to produce... He, he need to produce a better role model and a better example. Produce some uh, self-respect. Get you some therapy so you can learn how to love yourself. That's what you need to do. But that's all that I have to say about this idiot. But until then, and like I said, if you want to do your dirt in peace, keep your mouth shut and watch how you treat these women so they won't reveal your dirt. How about that? But um, anyway, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Thanks for watching. Please like because it helps my channel. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching. You all have a good day and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Peace.